Okay, this Han Solo is the Spanish PBP version, and um, I won it recently. I was looking for all my other Han Solos, and I can't find them. I'll either put them in a box somewhere, or um, I'll put this one away, and then I'll find the others. Because I wanted to do them all together. So, as far as I know, I've got the two Hong Kong small heads. Um the big head Hong Kong and I think the no Ku Hong, Hong Hong Kong and now I've got this one which is the um, PBP version and then there's the POC version uh, if you want to see a good sort of description of all these video figures characters then I mean the Han Solo you can uh, check out action figure grader or I've got one with four of them I've got a video with uh, the no coup and the small head and the big head hong kong this is such a classic figure certainly one of my favorites very nice so it's got the new style case where the gun is not taped to the side that's much preferred this one's afa graded it's 1983 Kenner PBP Star Wars loose action figure Han Solo European release. I think AFA are still struggling with all the sort of um, different classification of Star Wars figures, whereas UKG has got that down to a T, and action figure grader would concur with me about that. Well, I'm concurring with him because he's the one that says it. So AFA really need to pull up their socks in terms of uh, labelling using their labels but still this is quite good for AFA so 1983 Kenner PB Star Wars no coup 75 grand so very nice figure <laughs> if only you I mean to have trousers that tight you know I mean, it's just the simplistic sculpting but this is such a classic figure very shiny boots nice arm that's at an angle to hold the blaster it's got very pale hands that's a feature of the uh, Spanish figures very nice such a cool figure so nice I like it they've improved their labelling it's an archival case yes yeah, very nice there's a POC version which would be Hong Kong parts but painted in Spain this is uh, moulded in Spain painted in Spain and all that sort of stuff there's the pistol I mean, I think a lot of interest is now due to the books that, you know, have been published about the Spanish figures and the variants, and that's just generated a lot more interest, probably here and uh, in the States for these sort of figures. I mean, there's some big hitters in, in that line, including the Toxic Limbs uh, boss. The red armor forelong. And then there's some that are, you know, I mean, one of these was went on sale on Saturday, so on eBay, so this one comes up quite often. You can get ones with pinker hands and ones with really pale hands. It's really that hand that's really pale. So yeah, this was the first figure I ever bought as a child, but obviously the small headed version, but that's why this is one of my top threes, the Han, the Luke and the Leia. So if I do dig out the other figures, Luke's graded and uh, I'll make a video of them all together. Alright, cheers, goodbye.